like damn who give me some food for thought changing the pasta you had in your heart hey what's going on what's Good going morning. on it's your boy tyrell clemens i'm here with my beautiful wife miss wendy and it's time for to give you your breakfast for your soul your the food, food. I thought, look, y'all, it is the holiday season. It is Christmas Eve. And, and first of all, we want to give you all, uh, wish you all a Merry Christmas. And we want you to all have a Happy New Year. But Christmas time and, and Christmas Eve is a very exciting time. Uh -uh. For, for me, especially, it makes me think about uh, when I was a kid. And, and I used to always wonder, like, what is mom going to get me? What my dad going to get me? I was going to add that. What my mom gonna give me, what daddy gonna give me, but most importantly, I always wonder what was uh, what was the big man gonna Saint give me? Saint Nick. What was Saint Nick gonna give me? Like, like, what, what, can you think of a gift that you like wanted growing up? Like something like you really, really, like really, really wanted growing up? Something that I really, really wanted. Uh, I remember at one point it was a bike. A bike. Now I, I remember I really wanted a, a go kart, and my dad, yeah, he actually made it like a. He said, all right, boy, I hope you enjoy your Christmas. Then we got to go out there and cut that grass. And then he had the, uh, the go-kart covered up where the lawnmower was. And he pulled off the cover. It's a go-kart. That's where you get that stuff from. Yeah, so yeah he, he always, he always, <laughs> it's always been like that. But there's something about Christmas Eve that I want to talk about. Because, because on Christmas Eve growing up, we always had an expectancy that on, on the next day was going to be better mm -hmm. okay and that's powerful we always had an expectancy that that the next day we would it get was better it, it, it was always we expected a blessing we expected something good to happen we expected a miracle and something happened when we got older that we started to lose that ability to expect a blessing and so what I want to get you in the mindset today is you have to be like a kid. I know you might be 40. I don't know you might be 50. You might be 38. I, I know you're not a kid anymore, but I need you to have the mindset to expect a blessing and understand that the next day will be better. It can be better. A miracle can happen. Expect the great. And that's something that we lost when we got a little older. And I need you to get that thing back. When, when you're a child, you come in with an expectancy that, look, I know it might, last week might not have been good, but I know something good is going to happen on, on Christmas Day. I might not get the, the, the Kung Fu Grip Ninja that I want, but I'm going to get something that's going to make me smile. I, I, I might not get the, the race car track that I wanted, but I'm going to get something that's going to make me smile. Something good is going to happen the next mm -hmm. day. And so many people out there are hurting and they're sad and, and they're depressed, because, but I need you not to have that worry, that, that sadness, that anxiety because I want you to understand something good is going to happen the next day if you just walk around with the experience and, and the mentality of expecting greatness, expecting good, God will deliver. Expect that it's going to be better tomorrow than it was today. And, and the thing is, like, my mom and daddy, them, their budget won't be the same as God's budget. Like, like my mom and my mom and daddy they were limited. I'm limited. Look, my daughters might be watching. I'm limited on what I can get you. Y'all see these three piece suits? Don't let them fool you. I have a budget. Yes. I'm limited on what I can get you. But let me tell you, someone who is not limited. Unlimited resources. I'm, I'm gonna tell you somebody who can turn a situation around in a minute. My God can do it, but you have to walk around with a certain level of expectancy. So expect good things can happen. Have faith. And so all I want to talk about today is, is keep your childlike faith. And there's something beneficial about having childlike faith. And, and Christmas Eve brings out of people. I'm sorry. That reminds me of the cantata again. Mm -hmm. where, yeah, Zachariah. That, that cantata, go ahead. When the angel came and talked to him about the baby. Uh -huh. And he was like, we old. We, we too old. My stuff come out like a power. <laughs> I can't and do that no more. And then all of a sudden, you know, they, the story goes, he couldn't talk <sighs> after that until the baby was born. But God wants us to have some expectancy and believe that things are going to happen, that things that anything can happen as long as he's in control. He just wants you to have that expectancy every day. And, and that's right. And sometimes what, what I like about that story, which is what we're going to preach now, what I like about that story is that the angel shut his mouth. Not, not because, because the thing is, sometimes you talk yourself out of your own blessing. You stop, you talk yourself out of the greatness that can happen because you don't have the level of expectancy. You don't believe it can happen. The issue is if you start talking yourself out of your blessings, man, I ain't getting that job. I ain't, I can't write that book. I can't do this. I, don't talk yourself out of your blessings. You need to get an angel to shut that mouth up like it is Zachariah. Stop talking yourself out of it. You need to expect the great. 
Expect that God can move on your behalf. Expect that God can turn your situation around. Expect that good things can happen. Expect that God can move. You have to expect the great. You about to get me, about to get like me going. It's like a quote that says, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. That's it. I think it was Henry Ford, if I'm not mistaken. I ain't 100% sure. Shake me out. But at the same time, I need y'all to walk around with that expectancy. And Christmas Eve just always reminds me of the type of faith that we need to have in our life. Because you have faith that good things are going to happen. As long as you put them cookies out, you have faith that that milk, as long as you put that stuff out, you're gonna, it's going to happen. Carrots, no. carrots. I didn't know about them. They don't want carrots for the reindeer. So I didn't know about them. That's new. Yeah, we're going to make it do what it do. But at the same time, I need you to have the same, the same faith by God. The same faith and the same expectancy in your own gifts and your own abilities. I want you to realize that if you believe, just believe that it can get better. Believe the next day can be better. Don't, don't walk around here sad and depressed and thinking you can't achieve anything. You have to expect greatness, expect miracles. And if you do, then I guarantee you, your days will be better every day. You just keep got to look at yourself every day. You got to keep pushing every day. You got to grind every day, every day. Every day, y'all. I ain't going to say let's go to work this time, but I want you to just have the expectancy because I want you to believe that it can happen. If you do, then I guarantee your life will be better. Look, if you like anything we're talking about, man, I need you to click that thumbs up button. Share that thing if you're yes, on Facebook. Yes, share. Not, I don't like the subscribe button. I want you to... Well, it's a, I don't know if it's a button for subscribe. Is it a button it for subscribe? subscribe? Well, subscribe. Do that too. Subscribe. We want y'all to share it. Subscribe it. Thumbs up it. Tell somebody about the word and make sure you have expectancy that great things will happen for you today and tomorrow. Look, that is your breakfast for your soul. Your, your food for thought. Bye! Like them, Ooh. give me some food for thought. Changing the process you had in your heart. Hey.